Factor of carnation in 1947. Well, actually, the two dimes were in here. So this is when she dropped the dime to make her call. So that's called that's called dropping the dime. Yeah, it's okay. on your dime. You ever hear the saying? Your yeah, dime, yeah, yeah. your call. Oh, that's what that is. And that's to call the taxi on the way out and on the or way home. Or call your boyfriend or whatever. I'm here. And this is amazing. This is her powder. Wow. Isn't that great? So that's the actual powder? That that's the powder. That was in there? It's in there. So yeah. where did this come from? This, this comes from the estate of Lee Strasbourg. You got what you're saying? Yeah. Um. yeah they just breeze with the flat It's like literally I've been waiting the whole time to come.
That's great. Is this just not a man on fans dream? <laughs> I think it's really important because so many people know who she is, but they don't get a chance to see who she actually was. So when you come here, you get to see her private letters, her private little things, but also her public persona with all these amazing costumes that she wore on film. She's done so many historical things. I mean, obviously I love her roles that she played, but also I love when she sung Happy Birthday to the President because it's become so historical for so many reasons and she was so she knew how to create moments from the skirt blowing up to the happy birthday to being sugar cane and some like it hot there's so many I like all of them I can't pick one she has inspired me really because even though it's a job um, following her life she's just so inspiring she achieved so much coming from a broken home to being the most famous woman in the world and she was intelligent by reading the things here at the design center just reading them it's she, she, she was a poet as well. She has so many sides, so she inspires you. My favorite item is the Some Like It Hot dress because it's the most famous. And uh, I also love her earrings that she wore from How to Marry a Millionaire. And they're here because she wore these all the time, not just in the film, but also to go to premieres. So they're really well known. And reading her letters, to see her letters that they have here. And also there's a really cute thing. They have this little bag. And in this bag is there's little different compartments, even down to dimes that she would make phone calls on back when she was Norma Jean. And you never get to see this stuff. So June 1st is Marilyn Monroe's 90th birthday if she was still alive. Imagine she shares a birthday with the Queen. And Marilyn Monroe is a true icon. And this is a celebration of her, her life, her career. This is the legacy of a legend here at the Design Centre at Chelsea Harbour. Marilyn Monroe is a true icon. I mean, she, her image is frozen in our memory forever. I mean, you, an eight-year-old boy or girl, anywhere in the world, if you show a photograph of Marilyn Monroe, they know who she is. First of all, Marilyn loved the camera. She never took a bad photograph. And so she's a beautiful lady. I mean, she's exquisite. And she represents style and elegance. And so we felt it very fitting to partner with the Design Center because that's what they represent. Style and elegance and beauty. And that is what describes Marilyn Monroe. She never knew her father. She had no sister and no brother. Her mom was in and out of psychiatric institutions. She went from foster home to foster home. Three weeks after her 16th birthday, she married Joe, James Doherty because the other option was to go back into a foster home. She was 16 years of age. And yet she became this global icon that we are talking about today. Our goal is to really educate the world about Marlon, about the many facets of Marilyn Monroe. It's not just the, the screen icon, the screen idol, which truly she was fantastic and she accomplished so much, but it's also about her artistic side, her, her vulnerability, how vulnerable she was, her insecurities, her desire to become more educated, her eagerness to please, her hunger for love, we found so many notes and so many journals and writings from Marilyn that we believe that probably eventually her goal was to write a book.